All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He exists, He is to be. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means He is the Savior, He is the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name Raka Kadash means the Holy Spirit I want to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of great millstone Who rule well and taught me this truth And peace and salutations to you Akiam You brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad With true sincerity And Shalom to the Akiam Wa Athwat Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in and studying and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. This is the brother Taza Warbond, a partner from the GMS Boston camp, back with a quick lesson through the spirit, and I pray everything's edifying. I have an um, article from zerohedge.com, and the headline reads, We are in so much trouble. And this is what is the sentiment that's going to be happening around the world because what's going on, this is ultimately the judgment of the Heavenly Father. He's now about to bring plagues upon the earth and... and because there's nothing but wickedness, no righteousness, no truth, and no mercy, and no knowledge of the Most High uh, in the land, you know. He's about to bring judgment throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And you can see what's happening with even the war that's happening in the East uh, with Ukraine and Russia. It's, gonna, it's a trickling down effect that's going to come to here in America, man. It's ultimately going to lead to a uh, Third World War, you know. You know, this Third World War is the war to end all wars, and it's been prophesied in the Bible as Armageddon or Armageddon in Revelations. And this is the time of judgment from Esau Edom, man. And this is going to be a time where our Lord and Savior is going to make an appearance, his second coming on earth, to remove these kings off the earth, destroy all their armies and militaries, and, and, and be the official power of the earth, which Yahweh intended his son to be, man. You know, there's going to be no more wickedness. There's only going to be nothing but righteousness and, and, and it's going to be established. But before the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on earth, you know, as in heaven, you know, it's going to be established. Uh, uh, tribulation, bad times, trouble, as in this article says, is going to be coming, man. And this is what the prophets are here to uh, uh, warn. You know, we are here to do our duty, our reasonable service, to be watching, to be diligent, to see what's going on, to be circumspect of what's happening around in the um, news uh, world events. And we filter them through the prophecies of the scriptures. And the job of a prophet is to prophesy the downfall of many countries and many kings. Kingdoms of, of war and of pestilence and bring and of evil because that's what's happening and bad times is coming to the world man so before i start this article i just started you know with just reading that headline we are in so much trouble it's the truth man the lord's about to bring pain suffering sorrows and gnashing of teeth and anguish onto the earth tribulation and miseries second Ezra chapter 8 verse 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride hey this is the judgment of the heavenly father man you know many great miseries shall be done unto them in the latter times and we are in the last days man as that article it says the end times you know we are clearly in the end times because the lord uh, uh left us signs and wonders clues and hints uh for uh the prophets to be on the lookout to be aware of when the sign of his coming man and the sign of these trouble tribulation times man and this is this is this is how we know we could confidently speak that a hey, our lord and savior is is soon to come man you know and the, uh this year is the year to turn up man everything is turning up it's prophecies are speeding up and we you know we have to turn up with the scriptures and prophesy and to and to be uh, diligent because our lord and savior is soon to come man you know and people are walking in great pride because ultimately they think that this place will continue forever was america they'll think esau will rule forever esau edom is the so-called white man so that's his biblical nationality you know he's been oppressed the whole world with wickedness and he thinks he's going to uh continue to just stay in power but there's a transitional power that's happening and our lord and savior is about to drop the hammer on the hammer of the whole earth you know this whole war that's happening out in in syria with russia you know it's it's going to be a trickling down effect to the judgment of babylon the great which is aka america man america has been the center seat of satan's 
uh, kingdom. You know, it's been pushed forth the wine, that philosophies, that cup throughout the whole earth, and that's the the philosophies and the in the uh, uh, the cup of wickedness. That's the wine. You know, sin, adultery, so on and so forth. You know, everything that's contrary to the heavenly Father, that's been pushed throughout the earth, and that's why this whole earth is polluted because of the wine and the philosophies of Esau, Edom, but their home base is here in Babylon the Great, aka America. So that's why many great miseries gonna come. The Lord says he's gonna bring plagues upon the earth. Real quick, second Ezra's fifteen. Uh fifteen, I'll get right to the point. Verse five. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So it's thus said the Lord you know, the Lord is, is is making a statement that he and a promise that he's going to bring the sword, plagues, famine, death and destruction. And this is what's going to come. You already hear out of the mouths of these leaders, so-called leaders like Joe Biden said that the famines and food shortages is coming. You know, that's going to lead up to the famine that the Lord uh, promised, you know, the sword, which is these uh, uh, wars, man. You know, and, and these powers out in Ukraine, I mean, uh, Salakia and Russia and these uh, other militaries out and armies out in the east and even here in America, they all have capabilities of the nuclear uh, 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 ICBM missiles, man. And those are the swords that's going to cause more death and destruction. So this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. And this is why we're one step closer to seeing our Lord Yahweh Shad, man. But let me get into this article. Because the Lord has to bring these plagues, he has to bring trouble in times and evil because wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. As I stated, as I stated earlier, man, uh, um, Babylon has pushed forth its philosophies, its wine throughout the whole earth. And now the whole earth is engulfed in sin and the Lord is furious, man. And that's why he has to bring judgment. So let me get into this article again it's from ZeroHedge.com. Uh, the headline reads, we are in so much trouble. Uh, we are... Uh, what we are witnessing is truly the beginning of the end. And yeah, the Lord declared the end from the beginning. And now we're starting to see it being made manifest. Those that have the eye salve, those that can see the light and see the vision, who is being prophecy, uh, who's, who's engulfed in prophecies, who's occupied in gulf prophecies. We can see this. Uh, continuing on, in recent months, I have focused a lot on the economic implosion that is now taking place. But what we are facing is so much broader than that. Our society is literally falling to pieces all around us. And now World War Three has begun. Many regard the war that has erupted on the other side of the globe as just a conflict between Ukraine and Russia. But the truth is it is but the truth is that it is really a proxy war between the United States and Russia. And those are the two major pieces of this uh, Third World War. And it's prophecy, you know, Babylon the Great against Russia, man. You know, and, and and Russia is going to be the, um, let's say, the leader of the East. The Lord is going to put the spirit into Vladimir Putin and Russia to be the leaders of the East to 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 uh, shoot missiles in the scriptures. It says arrows, you know, and these other nations, other nations that's with uh, uh, Russia and the East, whether it's Iran, Iraq, Syria, China, North Korea. These and even the allies that America so-called has that that are, are in confederate with them, they're going to turn their back and also shoot at uh, uh, America or Babylon the Great. You know, it's all prophecy, man. So this is ultimately the Lord showing his vengeance and, and, and his pieces are being moved on the chessboard for that <clears throat> for that ultimate checkmate, man, which is Babylon the Great being destroyed. man. And now these reporters and newspapers and uh, uh, um you know, these media outlets are now starting to speak, you know, speak on this uh, potential war. And ultimately, it's the Lord, man, because the prophets are out here really giving the warning. The prophets are out here sealing the elect. As the scripture says, once the elect is sealed, then the end shall come. Let me get it real quick. Let me finish this paragraph and I'll get that. Um I'll read it again. Many regard the war that has erupted on the other side of the globe as just a conflict between Ukraine and Russia. But the truth is that it's really a proxy war between the United States and Russia. And since neither side seems much interested in uh, diplomacy at this point, this proxy war could eventually become a shooting war between the two greatest nuclear powers on the entire planet. Again, Russia and, and, and United States are the two major c countries that have the most nuclear 
uh, 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 ICBM missiles, man. And these ICBM missiles are going to be the arrows, the indignation of the Heavenly Father to destroy Babylon and also destroy lands of filth, man, to purge. That's what fire is. It's a, it's a cleansing agent, man, to purge out wickedness, ultimately, man. But real quick, because I... Uh, <clears throat> Because I said it, uh, you know, the elect have to be sealed, you know, and this is what we're doing. We we are, are, are through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, I'll try to give him a warning, uh, going on the highways and hedges, bidding the uh, elect to the marriage back to Yahweh Hashem, I'll try. Once the elect is sealed, then the destruction, the winds are going to come, as is spoken about in Revelation, the seventh chapter. Uh, Revelation 7 and 1 And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, or nor on any tree. And those winds is the destruction. You know, the angels is holding back the destruction upon the earth, man. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. See, so the hundred and forty four thousand, once they're sealed and they and the one third, you know, the elect, once they're all sealed, man, this is when the Lord's going to give the decree and give that head nod like it's time, it's time to the angels. And, and that's the winds that's going to uh, come, the destruction, World War Three, the plague, the sword, the famine. These horses are the destructions that are coming, man. You know, but the see that's why the election has to be sealed. You know, once this word go out and then the elect obtain it, then the destruction come real quick. Moving through the spirit twenty four, Matthew twenty four verse um thirteen. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this is the gospel. The, this is the true gospel of our Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the true names of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. He's a so their so called black man. The Lord's gonna send Yahweh Shai, a so called black man, not Jesus, to come to destroy these armies and militaries and to deliver the elect. You know, that's the gospel. You know, Babylon the Great is America and it's going to be utterly destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. That's the arrows that all the prophets have spoken about. You know, that's Babylon the Great. This is the gospel, man. Esau Edom is the so-called white man and he's going into captivity. You know, all these other nations are heathens. You know, they can't all be saved uh, because the Lord's only coming for Israel. And Israel is your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. You know, you are the chosen people. And that, mind you, there are other uh, there are other Israelites that have been scattered through all these other lands. They may look like uh, a, a foreigner. They may look like an uh, uh a heathen, but those that are, go back to the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whether you look so-called Chinese, so-called Korean, so-called white, if your bloodline through your father's side, if you go back to a, 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 a so-called black, Negro, Latino, Native American, you know, you are Israelite, man. So the, they, are, they also will be saved if they're part of the elect at this go around. You know, that's the end. This is the gospel. It's not God's going to come save everybody and he loves everybody. And, you know, you turn the other cheek and everybody can be saved. That's not the gospel. The gospel is America, Babylon, the great going to be utterly destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. And these other nations are going to go into captivity and Yahweh Shai is coming back with vengeance, man. So to continue back into the article. Um, <clears throat> The second paragraph, before the war started, events were already starting to accelerate uh, substantially. Inflation was out of control. A new energy crisis had flared up and global food supplies were getting tighter and tighter. But now we are truly in unprecedented territory. If you doubt this, just look at what is happening to the price of fertilizer. And there's a chart of the uh, spike of the fertilizer from 2008 crisis. You know, uh, that chart should chill you to the core because it clearly tells us that the food shortages are coming. Hey, and that's biblical prophecy. Again, he said he's going to bring the sword, the famine, death and destruction. Hey, this is happening. It happened in the past. It happened in the ancient times, man. And there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun, you know. So, hey, this world says history repeats itself. Hey, this is how the Lord is ultimately going to bring judgment, man. 
Continuing on, in fact, even Joe Biden is now publicly admitting that food shortages are coming. On his show the other night, Tulsa. Tucker Carlson broke this down in a way that only Tuck, uh, Tucker Carlson can. And uh, they had a video. I tried to click on it. It won't allow me to uh, play the video. But hey, even you have uh, Tucker Carlson speaking on it. You got Joe Biden uh, uh, admittedly just uh, speaking on food shortages are coming. Hey, and that's ca- going to cause uh, 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 sorrows and pains and uh, uh, war like in the streets, civil unrest. You know, it's going to be purged in the streets for people who are going to be trying to look to survive, man. You know, and that's also biblical prophecy. See, just let me uh, add it up uh, with a scripture, because ultimately there's a scripture for everything. You know, uh, second Ezra, staying on uh, second Ezra 15. I'll start at verse um, 14. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And this is biblical prophecy. This is what's coming. Second Ezra's uh, uh, Salaka. Ezra's was seeing a vision of what's going to happen today's time, man. You know, this was not going to happen. This didn't happen in the past. This is what's going to happen in today's time, man. And this is why uh, 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 the, the, the uh, Foreign Council of Nicaea, uh, uh, the Bible Destruction Group, they took out the Apocrypha, those 14 chapters out of the original uh, King James Bible, the 1611. They took these uh, books out of it because ultimately uh, it named names, you know, it, it exposed uh, Esau Edom, whether Alexander the Greek, you know, Epiphanes, you know. It exposed who Esau Edom is, man. The Romans, the Grecians, you know. And ultimately, it's, it's, it, it, it talks too much about the end time, the downfall of Esau, and what's going to be happening here in Babylon the Great and throughout the world, and what's going to happen to Esau's kingdom, man. It's going to be brought down, man, you know. So this, the Apocrypha is holy scriptures, man. And this is why we here at Great Millstone, starting from our apostles and elders and brothers on down, we, we use this, man. Because this is the times that we're living in. And again, Ezra's is talking about now, man. This is why it's deadly serious, man. This ain't no joke. You know, you hear these warnings. You see, you hear, see these lessons. It's not for your enjoyment. It's not for your entertainment, man. It's to, for you to get right, man. Get right and repent, man. And seek the Lord before the evil days draw nigh, man. But continuing on, uh, Second Ezra 15, verse 14. Woe unto the war world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands for there shall be sedition among men in invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be the house the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their goods with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And hey, Joe Biden just said that there's a food shortage that's coming. So this is ultimately going to uh, uh, it's going to line up with biblical prophecy, man, that people are going to uh, have their houses destroyed. Men going to be suffering and afraid. You know, there's going to be. Uh, betrayal amongst friends and neighbors because of lack of bread. People are going to come with the sword to kill, to try to, to to find food. You know, it says lack of bread, spoiling their goods. This is great tribulation that's coming, man. This is the evil times that is coming, man. In the first scripture that I brought out through the Spirit, Second Ezra, the eighth chapter, verse fifty, the fiftieth verse, many great miseries is coming. And it said, men shall be afraid. So if men who are supposed to be the the, 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 the stronger uh, being, the, the protector, the provider, if they're going to be afraid, imagine you women and children, you know, elderly. It, it, it's going to be a lot of suffering coming. The Lord is not playing, man. Evil times is coming. And this is why the only way you're going to be delivered or saved from these horrific and uh, 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 tragic times that's going to be coming is if you have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the scriptures, man. That's that comforter. The Lord is going to protect his servant, his, his chosen, his chosen one, man. You know, this ain't no game, man. You know, this is why you got to be circumspect, man. Pay attention. Know what's going on around you. 
You know, Jake like to be distracted with the things of this world and they're not taking uh, 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 the Lord serious. They're not taking the words of the prophet serious. They think we're conspiracy theorists or thinking we're just bugged out or fear mongers. They're not taking the war out in the East serious. They don't think that's going to actually affect them out here in America. Hey, man, shit is about to hit the fan, man. You know, shit about to hit the fan. You know, uh, Ephesians chapter five, verse uh I'll start at verse 14, the points in 15 and 16. Uh, Wherefore, he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shah shall give thee light. Hey, man, awake thou sleepest, man. Again, this place is polluted. This place of darkness, it will keep you docile and, sl and slept, man. It'll keep you sleepy, man. Keep you not paying attention. It will keep you not on, on point or on guard, man. But you got to awake when you hear these the words, man. This is the Lord calling out, crying out to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to hear this and wake up, man. Stay woke. Pay attention. Get right. You know, that's the light that the Lord's going to give you, that, that wisdom and knowledge to be able to maneuver in these times, man, because these times are going to be hella scary, man. And I'm not speaking that it's going to be good for even the, 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 the so-called elect. It said the, the righteous shall scarcely be saved, you know. It, we're going to be going through tough times too Lord, I don't want Ratazah I'm part of that hopeful elect You know, this is why you got to prepare your mind You know, this ain't no easy walk in the park, man That the that, that last hour of temptation is coming, man But you got to have faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai That he'll deliver you even through even life situation moments, man You know, we're continuing on Verse 15 See then that you walk circumspectly Not as fools, but as wise Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Hey, you got to walk circumspectly. Again, know your surrounding. Keep your head on the swivel. Look around, man. Pay attention. Know what's going on, man. And stay focused, man. Focus and in tune and, and occupied in prophecies and, and continue to, to rehearse the righteous act, to be brotherly. Continue to follow the law, statute, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. Stay spiritually minded instead of carnally minded because even demons and wicked spirits are going to even involve and increase in these latter days, man. You know, redeeming the time because the days are evil, man. It doesn't say the days are going to be peaceful. The days are evil, man. You got to know what time we're in, man. The days are it's about to be bad times, man. And as that article headline reads, we are in so much trouble and you don't even know how much trouble, man. The Lord is furious, He's angry. He is slow to wrath, but he's he made a promise. He declared the end from the beginning. And Babylon has been a bullseye until Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's eyes, man. This place is going to be lifted off the face of the earth through them thermonuclear missiles, man. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to be imploded by these arrows, man. And this is what's leading to, man. And you see Esau in this image, man. A little kid having his hand over his face. In 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 doubt, or maybe not in doubt, or in in, in, in non-belief, or, or not non-belief, but sorrows, man. You can tell it's pain and agony that's coming, you know. And for Esau, it's your time is up, man. Your time is up. Your time is up, man. So with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawah Da. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, I want to say I don't want to which means Lord willing. Shalom.